I'm News for Jackson and Chief Meteorologist David Eckerd. No doubt about it, it's been a very warm December across northeast Florida and southeast Georgia. We've set some records, got close to some records, and we could be talking about record setting warmth here at least over the next couple of days. So let's go some of the go through some of the numbers at the Jacksonville International Airport for the first seven days. The average high temperature was 77. That is well above the average high in early December of only around 69. We had a record high in December the 7th where we tied the record at the airport of 83 degrees and two other days we got close with near record highs in December the 3rd and December the 6th. On the 3rd we were two degrees shy of the record and on the 6th just one degree shy. So we're just not talking about warm weather here. We're talking about record setting warmth. So what exactly is going on? We have two key things at play here. One, the entire United States is kind of trapped in what we call this trough ridge pattern. So a lot of the cool air is bottled up into parts of the northern U.S. and that's opened the door for a lot of warmth from the southern Gulf of Mexico to lift its way northward. That helps build the warmth across Florida and Georgia. But the other key factor we have is a ridge of high pressure that is developed towards the west of us. And what that's doing is sending westerly winds our direction. If you've lived here for a while, you know westerly winds oftentimes are a dry wind and a warm wind. And that's allowing temperatures to soar not just in the inland areas, but along the coastlines as well because the sea breeze can't really get going. We don't get any of those moderating influences from the Atlantic water. So how long will this warmth last? Well, it's going to last a little bit longer, but it does look like some changes heading in towards the middle and back end of December. In fact, the 8 to 14 day outlook between December 15th and 21st puts the majority of northeast Florida in average conditions and then areas west of Jacksonville below average, including cities like Valdosta, and the Lake City area. Average high temperature this time of year is in the mid to upper 60s. What about Christmas time? Well, now we're within range. We can start making some indications here and the temperature outlook for the entire region looks to be average. In fact, almost all of Florida and much of Georgia will be featuring average temperatures. It looks like the below average conditions will be bottled up here across sections of the mid south, including northern Mississippi, northern Alabama and far northern sections of Georgia. So no doubt about it. It's been exceptionally warm across the region, but things may begin to cool down a little bit over the next couple of weeks. I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Eckert for Channel 4, the local station.